Yeah. I gotta do this for all of Edgewater? Yep. There's gotta be a better way. There's gotta be a better way. There's gotta be a better way. Let's do it. Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. Today we're gonna to be building the salt spreading multi-rotary. First thing we're gonna be doing is designing a hopper so we can figure out how we're gonna spread the salt. All right, so we got our hopper design here and it's looking pretty cool. The whole goal is to kind of copy what we're seeing in a normal like salt spreader trucks. And in Ohio, I'm always on the back side of this all the time. So kind of having the V shape, we're gonna put a ramp down in the middle. It's ultimately gonna come out of here. Um, I'll probably make this look kind of like a little dude spitting out salt. I think that'd be really funny, like a, like a praying mantis almost. So um, it's gonna come out of his mouth here. And a couple things I think I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to have like a way to kind of vibrate the salt, kind of keep it always traveling down the hopper. And then also we'll have to figure out a way to have to disperse it. But in the meantime, I just wanna build this, see how it looks, get the ramp in there, and then pour some of our salt to make sure it goes down. Ah, doesn't look like a praying mantis, you just put your two big eyes. I just want to see. I just want to. I just want to see it like two big eyes, and then like here's the rotor blades, like it's tennis, and then just. So we got that. Uh, let's go ahead and cut the hopper out, and then we'll take some of the salt and we'll start sprinkling it. And then I think the biggest thing we want to do is have a way to meter it. So I'm kind of picturing this is his mouth, and it can open and shut versus uh, um, just be constant flow all the time. So if you want to stop and fly around and then open it up again, it'll work. And then we just need to have a way to kick it out of his face. So we'll make it work, then we'll make it cool. Tape his face shut. All right. So flow test wise, we'll fill the hopper up. And then what I wanna do is uh, basically see what the natural flow would be just, just by itself. And then we'll try to make a mechanism to vibrate it. And we'll see what the flow is then. Thank you. That's like all the good stuff there. It's very underwhelming. Mm -hmm. All right, let me let me come up with something to shake it. Good. That's a success. I like that. Okay, so Perfect. so what we'll do is we'll take a motor. I'm gonna go ahead and I couldn't really feel it up here. It wasn't so aggressive, but on this table, it just made everything flow like water. So a really thick water. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'll lift up this plate. I'll get a motor mounted on the bottom of it that's wired up that can just basically vibrate and send that down. And then what we need to do next now is to kind of get a spreader on the bottom that will take that and then kick it out. So uh, I think now I just gotta, I'll, I'll make a wood plate for this and I'll make a wood plate for the spreader. We just gotta figure out how to make a spreader. All right, so while Josh and Noah are working on this crazy salt drone hopper thing, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor of this video and that is NordVPN. So if you're not familiar with NordVPN, NordVPN is a virtual private network that helps keep all of your data and information secure. The cool thing about NordVPN is that they have over 5,500 super fast servers in over 60 different countries. And with all these servers, it allows you to unlock Netflix and all of your favorite entertainment websites wherever you might be across the world. Another great feature of NordVPN is that it protects your data while traveling in public. So like if you're in a coffee shop with public Wi-Fi or an airport for that matter, it keeps all of your data secure so that when you're traveling, no one hacks your system. Along with all the protection you get while traveling, there's also no data logging, 24 seven customer support with live chat emails, as well as double data encryption for increased anonymity. Something else that I really like about NordVPN is also that there's up to six simultaneous connections. So it doesn't matter whether you're on your computer, on your phone, on your tablet, you get six options, which is really cool. Along with all of these other awesome features, NordVPN offers a 30 day money back guarantee, 
and they were selected as the best VPN in Best VPN Awards by one of the most trusted experts, and that's VPN Mentor. They're also the only VPN to get all the green checks on PC Mac, which is also recommended by leading tech and VPN related sources. Now the best part about all of this is that if you go down to in the description below and click that link, and that link is nordvpn.com slash flight test or use the code flight test, you can get a two year plan with a huge discount plus one additional month for free. So again, that's nordvpn.com slash flight test or use the coupon code flight test to get a two year plan with a huge discount plus an additional month for free. So a huge thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this episode and to all of you for watching. It means the world to us. So now let's get back with Josh and Noah and see what else is going on with this crazy hopper. So with the spreader, we tried to do a conventional spreader setup, which is pretty much what you see on the back of a lot of different salt trucks. Now, although it did actually spread the salt, it spread it just way too thin and kicked it out way too far. It wasn't really within the vision that we wanted where we wanted to see this thing just really kind of spew out salt as we flew over objects. So we went back to the beginning and we worked on the agitator more to give us a better flow of the salt and that worked fantastic. Oh God, out of here. <laughs> Look at the salt. It's on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and the face is gonna make it's it. It's gonna yeah. make it the best. It's gonna make it the best. All right. That that's awesome. That's awesome, dude. Awesome. I love it. Getting it. Let's go. So we have our old quad here that was previously the quad for our claw game. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and repurpose this, but I gotta reprogram it to make sure everything's working. Before we do, we're gonna make sure we're safe. We're gonna remove the props. We're gonna reprogram it and then make it fire up and get everything working. At that point, we're ready to put on the hopper. So guys, we got the hopper done. Now the next step is we have to cut out some strips out of foam to build a box to protect this battery. Then what we'll have to do is put the hopper on the bottom of the drone for the final fit. Then all we have to do is paint it. All right, so we have the drone. Yes. We have salt thanks to you. Ice melt. Ice melt. Uh, this is some high performance stuff too. That's what so. it looks like. It's like granular. It's granular. It's got a little bit of pinkish hue to it. Yeah, that's okay. Ready? All right, Anna. here we go. Nom nom, feed me. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of weight in this. Well, I don't want to get greedy too much. What do you say, like? See, okay, this has. That's probably like. So let's put this in perspective. This is 12 pounds. This is half of it. Salt. And how much have you put in there? Half of it, easy. About half. Yeah. So about half. So we 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 effectively <laughs> took this from what make weighing half a pound to now weighing. <laughs> five to six pounds. Let's button this up, get the agitator plugged in, everything plugged in, we'll take it up for its first flight. If this works, I'm gonna sit here nice and toasty and I'm gonna salt the driveway. Yes, yes. let's do it. All right, let's see if she fires up here. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Yes, she's live. That's good. She is live. And she's heavy. <laughs> she's heavy. All and right. she's heavy. Whole motivation is everything works. Then I get to go back upstairs, get my comfy thing, and then we're going to go ahead and do the most simple thing in the most complicated way. Love so. it. Let's do it. All right. Are we going to try it? No, you good? We got lots of cameras. Got lots of good things. All right. You ready? All right. Here, let me get you here. Three, two, one. Yes! 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 yes. How'd she feel? She feels great! Yes! Yes! Look at that! Look at that! All right, ready? Gonna start the... <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, no! There's a lot going on! Maybe I should have had someone else to spread this off. Okay, let's see if this is, there's no damage. We're good to go. 
I murdered our light. You murdered your solar light. I straight up murdered the solar light. Luckily, I don't feel any damage. All right, we're good. We're good. It flew. All right, we're going to fill this thing to the hopper. I have yes. plenty of power. I think what we do now is we fill this thing up and we just go salting like crazy. Salty time. Let's salt Let's it. Let's do it. So is it practical to make a drone that carries salt to spread and spread salt all over Edgewater? No. No. Was it a blast? <laughs> it was fantastic. It was a fantastic <laughs> blast. So friends, we need more ideas here. Make sure you let us know down in the comments if you want to see an everyday task that you don't want to do, made as complicated as possible with a little bit of flight mixed in, we want to hear about it and we want to try it. And make sure that you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you see all the crazy projects we have coming up next. And we'll see you guys see next, you next time. time.